Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to pop on live real quick because I haven't been on here in a while. As a matter of fact, I haven't been um, walking in this area in a long time. And so I just wanted to get on here and talk to everyone. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. It's like 40 something degrees, but it's kind of warm um, just a little bit mainly because I'm in the, the sun, but it's really nice so far. Feels good. It's beautiful out here. Let me see if I can turn the camera around. I'm back at Two Rivers, of course. <laughs> Lately, I've been finding other places to go to, um, trying to see what else is out here because I really don't like always going to the same spot all the time, but if I can't find another place to go, then sometimes I'll go back and go to those same places because they're familiar. But anywho, I wanted to talk to you guys about time. Um, for those who have noticed that I really haven't been active on social media as much as I used to, um, it's because I feel like God has really been trying to like deal with me on some stuff. And one of the biggest things that he's been dealing with me about is time. And the scripture that he gave me was Ephesians 5 and 15, where it talks about, look at how you do things. Not wise, not unwise, but wise. And make the best use of your time because the days are evil. And that was something that he's really been dealing with me about because I know for me personally, I don't know about you guys, but I know for me personally, like I have found myself misusing my time, um, not necessarily using it wisely, um, doing a lot of the things that were not beneficial to me. And sometimes you don't realize you're doing things that are not beneficial until you go back and look and you realize, dang, like I haven't done anything with this time. Like this time could have been used differently. Like I can remember times where I would be feeling a certain type of way and I would be thinking to myself, okay, I have this time where I can sit and I can be miserable and I can be sad or, you know, I can uh, have this time where I'm not very happy or I can use this time wisely, get up, do stuff <laughs> that's beneficial. Because now, like this year, I'll be 28 years old. So now I look at my, my life and I, I go, okay, is what I'm doing now going to help me tomorrow? Is what I'm doing now going to help me a year from now? Is what I'm doing now going to be beneficial to me later on? Is what I'm doing now going to help my children? So now I've become more legacy mind. Now I've become, you know, more aware of what I'm doing right now and how it's going to affect the people later on in my future. Because one of the things I know I want to do later on is, you know, have a family, have kids, stuff like that. So I want to make sure that the, the things that I'm doing right now at this moment is going to be beneficial. Like right now I'm walking <laughs> and even though I haven't walked in a minute, like lately I've just been going to the gym and been riding my bike. I love riding my bike. Uh, but I'm walking and I'm trying to keep myself active because I know for sure that I want to have kids and all of that. And so I want to make sure that I'm active and I want to make sure I have enough energy so that I can play with my children. You know, I can see my grandchildren. Hopefully if Jesus don't come too soon, <laughs> um, I can see my grandchildren, all of that. So, <laughs> but yeah, he's really been talking to me about the importance of using your time wisely. Me personally, the importance of using my time wisely, because there have been times where he would chastise me and he would go, is what you're doing now, you know, are you, are you giving me glory by what you're doing right now? And sometimes I have to be like, no, and it's, it's not necessarily anything bad. It could be something like staying on your phone too long. Uh, you know, being on social media too long, watching TV too long, you know, stuff like that. Eating certain foods like I've been 
really being mindful of what I put in my body, you know, which is the reason why I lost weight. I'm so happy about that. But he's really just been dealing with me. Even when it comes to people, he's really been dealing with me about my time with people. And he's been trying to like show me like, are the people that are around me right now, are they beneficial for my future? Are the people that I'm around right now, are they going to help me later on when there's certain things that need to happen? Sometimes people, sometimes God puts people in your life only for a specific season. And then after that time is up, you move on and you go to another season. Sometimes your time with certain people just ends. I know uh, recently I've lost a lot of friends, you know, I lost a lot of people. But then later on, like I used to look at it bitterly, but then, you know, God was just like, it was just time for you to go. It was time for things to end. Time was up. And sometimes you have to look at that that way. You know, I'm hoping some I'm hoping I'm helping someone, but because I, I, I know I used to look at the situation like that. Um, but there are just certain people in your life that don't need to be there anymore. There are certain things in your life that don't need to be there anymore. You know, and who knows? I mean, there may be times where certain things may happen. You may see certain people again. You may not. But it just is what it is. Um, I know for, you know, people that I knew for for years, you know, um, now I don't really see them that often, but I'm able to now see the benefit of me not seeing them. Um, I have a lot of peace. I have a lot of joy. I'm able to just get up and go, you know, and do a lot of things. And I'm able to actually use my time more wisely now that I'm away from certain people. And then sometimes God uses a certain amount of time so that you can see yourself. Like my sister-in-law calls it a show me me face. <laughs> and I think that's where I'm, I think that's where I am right now. I think I'm in a God show me me face where God is really like helping me have this opportunity and he's showing me myself. So it feels nice. It feels good to be in that era. It feels good to finally be in that space where I'm seeing life differently. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So, yeah, sometimes your time with certain things or your time in certain areas or your time with certain people can just come to an end. But I will say this, though, God will always cause the right people to continue to stay in places. He'll cause the right people to resurface every time. I've seen this happen on several occasions where he would use the right people, like God would always use the right people to come around and resurface just so that you can be exactly where he needs you to be. And then there are people who he allows to just remove themselves. Sometimes, you know, it gets to that point where God has to remove people or has to allow people to remove themselves from your life so that you can be in a better space. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Sorry, my these TikTok notifications are constantly popping up. But things happen. You know, time is important, especially now, you know, because things are getting worse and worse. You, we're seeing things happening with the whole, you know, coronavirus thing and all of that. And it's like God is really showing us like, hey, during this time, make the most out of your time. Get to know me more. Talk to me more. Spend time with me more. Find my heart in certain situations. See what I think about this. I know when it came to things as simple as trying to find the right people to be around me, I just kind of gave up on trying to do it myself. You know how sometimes we have like a mindset of the certain people that we think we want in our lives. And I remember I just got rid of that. And I was just like, God, just send me the people that I need. Send me exactly what I need. I don't care what it looks like. I don't have a, a, a criteria or a list of the things that I want. God, just send the right people. You know, send the people that are supposed to be here. I don't want to put limits on what you can do in my life. Because that's how it was. I know <laughs> one of the things that I used to do 
when I was younger, which was a waste of time. I used to have a list. I remember when it came to like my future husband and stuff like that. I used to have a list. Now, mind you, I'm not trying to convince you guys to do anything, but I used to have like this list of all of the things that I wanted in a husband. And I remember one night I was reading that list and God was like, why are you putting limits on what I can do in your life? I didn't realize I was limiting God. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was putting a limit on what he wanted for me or what he could do. Sometimes those things that we want, those things that we think we want in a spouse is not really what we need. It's not. Sometimes those things, those things that we think we're looking for. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having desires. I'm not saying that there's any wrong, anything wrong with having desires. But sometimes when we name off certain things like God already knows what we want. God already knows what we need. He already knows our heart. So when we do things like that, it's like we're putting that that limit on him and we're saying, OK, this is as far as you can go because this is all I want. That's not how that works. And so he's really been just teaching me how to make the best use of my time. And that's why I'm so grateful for Ephesians 5 and 15. Because he's really been showing me, okay, what can I do in this time that is going to help me later on? Am I becoming what I need to be for the next stage in my life? Am I doing the right things to be in the right space for the next season in my life? Am I, am I making the right steps? And sometimes we get to that point where we just get distracted. There are so many things that are distracting so many different distractions, so many different things to be worried about. And God is constantly telling me like, yo, don't worry. Why are you worried? And then he brings me to Ephesians 4 and 6. God has really been using Ephesians to, to really speak to me. <laughs> Ephesians and um, um, Habakkuk. I never know how to say that. Habakkuk. Habakkuk, Habakkuk, whatever. I don't know how to say it. Somebody will have to show me how to say it. But he's really been using Ephesians because Ephesians 4, 4 and 6, where he tells us, don't worry about anything, but in everything through prayer and supplication, let your request be made known unto God. With thanksgiving, my bad. Everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Ephesians 4 and 6. So he's been dealing with me with that scripture and with Ephesians 5 and 15. He's been really dealing with me about those two scriptures, about making the best of my time and not worrying. Ephesians 4 and 6 talks about not worrying. Ephesians 5 and 15, it talks about, you know, making the best use of your time. So in the midst of me making the best out of my time, I also don't need to worry about what's coming or about what's going to happen next. These are going to work out perfectly according to his will. You know, so that's what I'm depending on. You know, I'm depending on things working according to his will and according to the way he wants things done. That's how I want it. I'm tired of choosing. I'm tired of having to decide to, to decide because that's actually harder. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It's actually harder to make those decisions. It's actually harder to, to have to figure things out on your own. I don't know about you guys, but I hate having to figure things out. It's hard. It sucks. So I'm like, all right, God, whatever you want, I'll do it. Whatever you need, I'll do it. Wherever you're trying to take me, I'll go. And sometimes I have to be mindful when I say that because I'm like, okay, he might take me somewhere and I might be, it might be somewhere that's going to test my, you know, my character. But hey, if it's if it's going to take me to the right places, I'm willing to go there. I'm grateful for all the things that has happened lately. It happened for me, not against me. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. 
there's nothing nothing too much just a few things so i'm gonna finish up my walk I might make a couple of phone calls and answer some text messages and dms and stuff and possibly review a couple of um a couple of emails from some places oh by the way thank you to everyone who watched my interview with black bay entertainment thank you guys that was actually my very first interview um with a entertainment company um and it felt good she's based in the bay area in california i met her via social media on another site and she and i have been really just keeping up with each other ever since like i don't even know who she is personally never met her physically in my life but she just hit me up randomly and was like hey i want to interview you and i was just like yeah sure <laughs> and and uh she's a journalist so she gets she goes on like red carpet events she interviews celebrities and up and coming celebrities and so it was an honor to be able to have her to interview me and like i said i didn't ask for the interview she just she just came to me and dm'd me and was like hey yo would you like to have an interview with me i was like sure <laughs> and so um that was a blessing um so god has been really doing some amazing things in my life lately um so thank you to jade jade jewels from black bay entertainment thank you for interviewing me it was an honor to be able to be connected with you in such a subtle way and so yeah i appreciate that but anyway thank you all, thank you guys so much for viewing my my interview for those of you who did not get a chance to view the interview it's still up on her page on instagram um if you follow me on instagram you can go to my page and um you can click on the um instagram tv icon in there and then go straight to her interview where it has my big smiling face on it <laughs> but anyways yeah thank you guys so much and um you know i appreciate you guys and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful monday so i will see you all later bye